Welcome to Routing Through. This is the series where I attempt to ride every bus route within a specified region. However, I cannot use any other mode of public transport other than walking between the two services. So, unless I'm getting a bus there or walking to it, I'm not allowed to actually get that route and count it in a series. With me launching the concept in 2023, I decided to start in Greater Manchester alongside the launch of the B Network. And in today's episode, what we are doing in today's episode is saying a sort of slight farewell-ish to Vision Bus. Um, but because we're doing their two final routes, and we're having a sort of long journey to do it. Okay, so Route 94 is possibly the oddest one out of Mary. Um, the route it takes is a bit bizarre. So 20622 is headed off there. Uh, we ended up coming in about 15 minutes late, because about halfway along, the police were trying to get past us. They'd all turn up at once. It was like six cars. They all went past us when we stopped. And then as we pulled up to a junction ready to turn out, there was like one gone in the way and it got really confusing. Anyway, we ended up being stuck behind a bunch of them and like trying to squeeze through and it just added so much time. Welcome to Rooting Through Greater Manchester once again. Roll the intro. Hello boys, girls, and all in between. My name is Justin Michaela and welcome to Bolton for the next episode of Rooting Through Greater Manchester. Now, uh, this episode is not themed around Bolton. We've done quite a few of those already um, and I've obviously covered this in great lengths. So I'll link below episode number four where I actually explain Bolton Interchange. And I'll also link episode number 10 where we did another day based around the area as well, just to see some more of the routes around here. What we are doing in today's episode is saying a sort of slight farewell-ish to Vision Bus. And I'll explain a bit more when we get on board our first bus. Um, but because we're doing their two final routes and we're having a sort of long journey to do as we're going to end up at North Manchester General Hospital after just three routes because um, we're doing one in between their two services um, and so because of that um, I do have a sort of a long day in terms of how far we're going to be travelling. We're going to be starting here in Bolton um, and finishing up the day um, doing around Oldham, Ashton um, and North Manchester General Hospital amongst other things. So hopefully it should be a really good day and I'll see you on the first bus which will be on the route 480 from here and we're going as far as Tottington. So our first bus is 1044. Now, Vision Bus do have fleet numbers. They are not sort of ticketed ones. They don't put them on the vehicles, but they do actually consider them fleet numbers. Um, so this is 1044, this is the next Mistral um, Enviro 200, so it spent time by IGO and a few other companies after IGO went under. Um, but it was a Mistral one, bought out by them in around 2021 I believe, um, and it does not carry delivery. Um, vehicles like this are likely to move over to the Lancashire operation, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but yeah, we'll have a nice ride on this one as we head over to Tottington. as are pretty much all the services around Barry actually. Um, so the region of Barry is going to be yellow once again, because they did have yellow buses once upon a time, yellow and orange uh, buses, yellow orange, um, and they will be fully yellow once again, so that will be quite interesting. So from Bolton through to Barry, the route goes through Castle Hill, side of the Moor, Wales Reservoir, Holtonbrook, Tottington, and Walshaw before reaching Barry, um, and also some services to apply alternative uh, operations, including additionally serving rounds bottom terminus once a day in each direction as well. Um, so quite odd that it has slight changes here and I'm not too sure if they'll carry a rugby network, I've not looked at the timetable on bus times for that yet. 
Yes, yeah, so Vision Bus will be leaving Manchester in terms of revenue earning the routes. Uh, these are the last two they're operating. The rest of theirs went to Diamond for the most part um, from Bolton when those franchises kicked in in Charge 1. Um, I think Going Up West got a couple of the ones they had as well. Um, but yeah, most of them went to Diamond uh, Northwest. And uh, yeah, so in terms of these two routes, they will go. Now, there is still revenue only routes that we can get with Vision Bus. Um, they are now based in Lancashire. They've got a depot up there. I can't remember where it is. I couldn't find it in research. But yeah, the depot up there, there is still routes from there you can board. And the delivery will still be in Greater Manchester. They won some school contracts with Charge um, And of course, with that, that means that they do run school services and will do around Bolton for at least a few years to come. And welcome to Tottington. So I was meant to go for Tottington Library, but they're literally so close to these stops that it was impossible to make sure the bus stops there. But Tottington is just a small uh, sort of village um, within like the region of Bury. So uh, obviously these are historically Lancashire areas, um, Bury and of course Tottington as well. So it is sort of that. And it actually has a little bit of family history here as well. Uh, my nan um, on my mum's side is actually from here. So there is a little bit of family history here for me um, in that respect. But it does get a pretty frequent bus service as while the 480 runs on an hourly basis, the other route, the 469, uh, which is actually run by Rosso, so we are getting one more of their vehicles in here in the series. Um, but that route provides a nice frequent 15 minute service and uh, we'll give a little bit more details about that on board when it turns up. But one other thing I wanted to mention is that bus, 1044 there for Vision Bus, really, really does not like hills. Like. Okay, and welcome aboard 618. This is one of two streetlights currently branded for the Tottington line. Of course, uh, this route will join the Majepic route in Bury uh, with Stagecoach, including the 480, um, under the B network in just over a week. So, when I'm honest, it's eight days until the launch, um, so seven days till the launch day of these. Um, but when you'll be seeing this, it'll actually be the day before. But this route is a very quick one, and it takes 13 minutes in total, um, and it's just a 15 minute frequency route. It just goes along the Tottington Road, but because it's so short and simple, it may be the only time where the branding inside the bus actually has every single stop on it. interchange on the 469 there. I'm going to walk a couple of stands down or a few stands down to board the 94. We've got one of their 20 plate MMCs on there. So this is the other of the last two routes run by Vision now and I'll tell you more about it when we get on board. Um, for those who are curious we did cover Berry interchange in episode number two so click the link below and use these chapters to find the information. Okay and our next one is 1030 uh, in the Vision bus fleet. So this does technically mean we've completed Vision bus um, here in Greater Manchester anyway. Um, so that is one thing I guess. And this 94 service we'll just talk about a bit more in a moment. Uh, this is borrowed from 200 MC of course is um, just a dealer stock one. I'm not their fleet is dealer stock or X wherever it's from stock. However it does a very good cushioning on these uh, pretty standard ADLCs.
the route it takes is a bit bizarre. So it heads via Fishpool, Pillsworth, Unsworth, Hillock, Kirkland, Presswich, Longfield Centre, Centre, Sedgley, Cheatham Hill and Boca Vale route. Um, it takes just under an hour, about five ten minutes less than that, to do the full route. Um, so it's quite a strange route. It also has very odd routing. There's different areas that are served additionally and uh, different routing. So it does say that the end is a circuit and that I can't find any actual evidence of that. So I will link down below for today's episode the bus times link for this route so you can read them up and try and understand it yourself because um, frankly I can't figure it out myself. Um, but yeah, we're on this all the way to North National General Hospital so I'll see you when we get there. General Hospital. The 480 just dropped me off on the main road. There's a North Manchester General Hospital, just another hospital basically in the Manchester region. Uh, again, it's quite a large and key one as well. But, um, but yeah, from here there are plenty of bus links that head over to places like Oldham, uh, Middleton, and into the city centre, of course, with the 41. But what we're riding is the 151 from here over to, well, it runs to Ashton, but we're running it as far, we're going on it as far as Hollywood. You join me on 20622 now, and I'll explain shortly why this not yet B network room is using B network vehicles. But this is one of the 73 plates, one of the shorter infrared twitch MCs, and I'll give you a rundown of the route halfway through.
welcome to Hollingwood. So 20622 is headed off there. Uh, we're only coming in about 15 minutes late because about halfway along um, the police were trying to get past us. Like six cars, it all went past us when we stopped. But then as we pulled up to a junction ready to turn out, there was like one gone in the way and it got really confusing. Anyway, we ended up being stuck behind a bunch of them and like trying to squeeze through and it just added so much time. Anyway, Hollingwood as a place, it used to be obviously an old Lancashire uh, town and uh, once ho housed um, quite a large number of like cotton mills and they also home, home the Roxy Cinema here until 2005. However, a lot of damage that has been done to this area in terms of like missing bits and obvious buildings that were there that aren't there no more. This has been, actually been caused there was an outbreak of like tornadoes in the area, shockingly, um, in the 1980s, around 86, 87 time. But anyway, from here you can also board the 83 and 84 routes, um, which of course link Manchester Piccadilly up to Oldham. Um, it's the point where the two routes then diverge to do their own separate thing. But I'll tell you more about that when we get on the 84 very shortly. Okay, so our next bus is First Greater Manchester's uh, 37545 on the MX09 uh, Volvo B90R Rider Clips Gemini's with a cracked windscreen. Um, but anyway, um, I'm on the top deck for this one, mainly because downstairs is round and upstairs has no one. Um, but we're going to be on this all the way up to Grotton, Brooklyn's Parade. But I'll tell you a little bit about the route itself and the terminus points further along, about halfway through. Just then you would have seen a HD Connect street line. So it is worth mentioning that the next time in this area it will be B Network. Um, but one route I found out is going to B Network I didn't expect is the 184 to Huddersfield. Currently run by Huddersfield uh, Depot for first group. It is actually going to be going to Stagecoach Manchester um, at the Oldham Depot. So I know it's been back and forth in Oldham and Huddersfield for a while now, but yeah, just that, which is of interest. Also, what's of interest is they have disconnected the two bus station uh, buildings here as well. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So, the 84 is very similar to the 83. Remember I mentioned it when we did the, that route. Um, this route actually follows the direct route of the 83 as far as Hollywood. But they use two different stops there and then they go on their own service. So the 83, we already explained where that goes. But the 84 runs through to either Grotton, but Brooklyn's Parade, where we're going, or to Upper Mill Turning Area. So the 184 used to go all the way from Huddersfield to Manchester um, through these areas. But that was curtailed originally to Upper Mill, now to Oldham, it's been extended again. And and so the 184 now only runs from Holdham here up to Huddersfield um, and the 84 took over the rest of the route um, from Upper Mill down to Manchester. Of course when the 184 was extended this then got more services only running as Oldham or now it's just Grotton and Grotton and Upper Mill. On the route after serving of course Newton Heath and Hollingwood like the 83, the 84 then continues to serve Hollins, Oldham, Lees and then either Grotton and or Upper Mill, so I'll either go to Grotton or continue from there up to Upper Mill Turning Area. The one I was meant to be on was going to terminate at Grotton, but I had to get one 20 minutes later because of the delay on that uh, 151. So this one is running all the way to Upper Mill, um, but we're not going there today. Now Brooklyn's Parade isn't much really, it's just the central point of the area of Rotten. Similar to Hollywood in a way, it's a historic Yorkshire uh, town, in this case not Lancashire. Um, and actually the sign for the historic West Riding in Yorkshire was still in place if you noticed on that bus stop a couple of clips ago. And 
the town was home to more mills. This time it were texture mills as well as brickworks. But then obviously during the two world wars there was a lot of housing developments uh, made across the country and in that time this became more of a housing area. It's a residential area now of Saddleworth, or it has been basically. And it is the point where the 84 does either terminate or obviously continue to upper mill. And then there's the 180 from here as well as the 184. So that's your free bus routes that come here. So you can connect to Huddersfield as well from here as Greenfield. So uh, yeah, I'm going to head into the co-op now and uh, well, stay out of the rain because it's decided to start raining now and come back out when the next bus we're getting the free for free comes along. Okay, so our next one is YX19 V, which is number 45. The ticket to pick up, of course, for starts uh, at all. So we're on this from here to Carbrook, Castle Lane. And I'll tell you a little bit about the route very shortly. Um, it's not long enough, it's too long, but long enough for me to do it about halfway through. And here we are at Carbrook Castle Lane. Now, what's interesting is the Route 348 we're getting on terminates at this stop, um, but the 343 has its timing point at the stop further down, I presume, to prevent them from potentially blocking each other um, up and then causing jams on the small village here of Carbrook. Now, Carbrook is just a village. I mean, it's now situated within Oldham, but of course, it will have historically been part of Yorkshire. And it's situated right in the middle of Pennine, so it's absolutely gorgeous from here. Like, the architecture is gorgeous, and you've got these hills in the distance. This is just so nice. I mean, it's crazy to think that this is in Greater Manchester. This is why Manchester is always been considered to me, since I moved up this way, a better city than London, because this is in Greater Manchester. How crazy is that? But other than the rather lovely views, the duck pond to the side of me, and all the lovely walks around here, Carbrook does also serve as just a terminus point for the 348, hence why I've come here today. We'll be boarding that one very shortly, as it pulls in about 10 minutes after the 343 leaves. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a lovely continuation of the day. I'm hoping some of these nice views do continue, but we are now going to be heading back into the more um, proper built-up areas now, um, as the next part of the day will take us towards the centre of Manchester. We're on our next one now, it's 63109, which is one of the ex Leicester street lines. We have this one on the full 348 actually, as it has, that's what we've been doing. I'll give you a quick rundown of the route about halfway through.
Okay, so the free flying with this route runs, of course, from Carlbrook down to Ashdown the Line. Alan Ruby additionally serves Copley and Staley Bridge in that direction. Um, and it's currently run by first with just a mixture of vehicles. Um, so that will be changing, of course. Uh, when it goes under B network, it will be run by Stagecoach. In fact, the driver on this is a Stagecoach driver. But anyway, um, should be a decent ride on this. We're about halfway through now, so I'll see you all when we get to Ashdown. Change. Now I have covered this in a previous episode, this is Sunday Services episode which was number 5. We're going to jump straight onto our next bus, 11737, one of the brand new 73 plates for Stagecoach. Now I don't think this fleet is staying Manchester permanently, um, I believe it's just a temporary one. Um, there was a delay to the B network fleet for Stagecoach due to an ADL strike. So they have sourced 30 extra Euro 6 vehicle because these were a company order um, and they've been diverged sort of between the different sectors. So um, we'll board this one now and see how they are. Join me on 11737 now. This is one of the 73 plates and it's actually interesting because when the 2020 delivery launched, there wasn't officially an interior change. Um, there was a sort of transition into what we have now. Um, so if you board the 69 plates here in Manchester, they have the first design which was um, using the smart seats, but it's like the blue backs on them, um, and there's a lot of beach ball elements to them. Um, and then the next one was quite grey based, um, the 20 plates here have uh, a lot less blues. This is the final design, it's what they've gone with. Um, it's got, they've got a blue wall accent now, which is nice, um, and sort of paddock along the sides as well and towards the top. Um, and they've used blue stitching on the new seat layout and design basically to make them a little bit more interesting. And I actually really like this, this is a super nice interior. Um, I'll tell you more about the route as we get further along. So the Route 219 is one of a number of routes between Ashton and the Line Interchange and Manchester <laughs> City Centre. Uh, the 219 is also the most direct. It takes just 32 minutes, even at the busiest time, so it's about 35. It's only a few minutes slower than the tram takes, as it spends all but the very end point of the Ashton end of its route on the Ashton Road and going straight down it. On the way to the city, the route runs via Guidebridge, Fairfield, Openshaw and Deswick. And again, it just takes only about 30 to 35 minutes to do the whole route, so it's a pretty efficient route. It's also one of the most common places to find this new batch on. Uh, but again, the reason I think these are not meant to be here is obviously ADL had that strike at the beginning of the end of last year and it delayed the Stagecoach B network fleets. And it was stated that Stagecoach had sourced 30 um, Euro 6 buses for the meantime, and it will also explain why they're not in yellow. Anyway, we're on this all the way to Piccadilly Gardens, so I'll see you when we get there, and then we're we'll going another route back out of the city. Now we have covered this in a couple of previous episodes, I actually can't remember the numbers of them, but I'll link it down below. Uh, I'm going to head straight over now though to get on to my next route, which will be uh, the 76 up to Oldham, so I'll see you when we get on board there. Okay, I mainly got on this one because uh, they're all really delayed now, uh, there's a massive crowd of people at the moment in the city centre, as I didn't think to check this today, but Manchester City are playing at home, so everyone's sort of crowding around and we'll see fans and enjoying it with a ball. So I thought get on this one, uh, it's actually the one that was meant to be uh, 20 minutes before the one I was going to be on. Um, but it's running 17 minutes late, so it's, it's going well. What I can tell you is it's 19495, and this one is quite a colourful one, as it's one of the ones branded up for Mentos Fanta. But I'll tell you a bit more about the Route 76 when we get about halfway along on the way to Oldham.
basics. So you're running an hourly basis. I'll tell you more about the actual details of that when we do it later in the series. Now the 76 runs from Piccadilly Gardens through to Oldham. Um, it's one of the number of routes that does, but it's the only one that's run by stagecoach. Or on the 76, of course, they're the only two run by stagecoach between Piccadilly Gardens and Oldham. There is the 74 as well, which is related to these. We'll do that as well uh, when we cover it. It's like a short running, and we'll tell you more about it. But the 76 runs via Miles Platting, Newton Heath, Failsworth, and Mimeside. And until late 2019, um, the routes actually, well, the Route 76 actually had a branded fleet. So the X Stagecoach UK events in Mario 400, which were used for the Olympics in 2012, uh, the MX12s we have, which are the one, uh, the 10,000 series ones, uh, they were branded up for the 76. It was a livery applied, like a scheme applied onto the beach ball livery, quite a striking scheme, but it was uh, dropped in 2019 and then the route has ever since seen a mixture of vehicles. Um, these two routes will of course also be joining the B-Network in charge too. Uh, there is quite a lot of B-Network vehicles on it already. Um, obviously because a lot of stagecoach vehicles are being painted already, they've been being done since going for West started actually because they've got a larger fleet to do. So it's in every 10 minute frequency between this and the 76A, so essentially this route runs every 10 minutes but then one of those sections each hour is the one on the hour of Piccadilly I believe, um, it runs as the 76A. Uh, but again I'll tell you more about that route and more specifically when we ride it, but I'll see you guys when we reach Oldham and then we do our final route of the day. now obviously we're at the King Street building but I need to get over to Standee on the main building as soon as I can I've got four minutes for this connection but if I do miss it I, there is a potential alternative um, because the route does another circular at the end I'm gonna really try and make this so I will hopefully see you on board the 149 in four minutes IRL okay you join me on 36782 and it's our final bus of the day on the route 149 so this uh, is so a little more details on when we actually get back to Oldham um, on it because it will do a circular now and then back to where we're climbing up on it. I'll see you guys when we get to that.
Yes, and we are now back at North Manchester General Hospital. That was 36782, and if it didn't actually say, I don't think I did. Of course, that one is one, of course, that was new to Wigan, but moved earlier on uh, in time, around about 2017-18, as we discussed in the previous episode. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, please do leave a like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's been a slightly different one, quite a lengthy route. I'm quite excited to look at the bus times map, bus miles map, sorry, at the end of today, just to see what the shape of it and stuff is and how long it is. Um, just to summarise the routes that we've done today, we of course started up in Bolton uh, and did the 480, we did that down to Tottington. From there we boarded the 469 and did the full route on that, only short route, um, down to Bury Interchange where we then boarded the 480 down to here. From here we then boarded the 151, we got that up to Hollinwood where we got the 84 up to Groton. Um, from Groton we of course got the 343 um, which we got up to... Um, where it was called Car I don't know, Carver. Carver. Um, and then from there we boarded the 348 uh, into Ashton Underline Interchange doing the 219 from there down to Piccadilly Gardens where we then of course boarded the Route 76 up to Oldham where we then boarded the Route 149 which we've just done on the full route pretty much um, if you don't include that we didn't do it obviously up uh, from here to Oldham, um, back down to here at North Manchester General Hospital. Quite a fun and interesting day, definitely something different, um, and I'm really glad to have got through it all. Um, I did all that listing off to all the routes there without checking, so I hope I didn't miss any off. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, whether it be a routing through you watch or something different. I'll see you then. Goodbye for now.